What is up you guys? It is your boy D Dizzle D Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics and today I'm about to freeze you in place with today's lesson which is going to be how to color in and shade in your character whatever you're drawing. But before we begin that let me educate y'all asses before we start off. So when you're messing with colors one thing you have to understand when you're coloring your character is you have to understand what colors harmonize with each other. For example on the character I'm drawing here it is the character I drew on Annie Monday. I drew Jericho from Seven Deadly Sins and I highly recommend you guys go check out the creation process of that video and it was really cool really awesome I had a lot of fun but with this character you can see how the colors harmonize with each other from the gradients from her skin tones to her top where it's just a simple darker blue if you sometimes use the wrong colors it can really stand out the wrong way and you do not want that to happen when it comes to your image and before you guys actually start coloring your image, I highly recommend that you guys make a color palette of what you want your character to look like before you even begin coloring it in. I always do this with my images because it really helps my workflow. And the tool of my choice I use to create all of my shades is pretty much going to be always the pencil tool and the pen tool. In this video in particular, I just use the pencil tool and it's very easy to switch between um, colors by hitting the eyedropper tool, which is the eye button, and then hitting the end button on your keyboard to switch back to the pencil tool. And if you need to hit shift X to um, switch between your line and your fill, you always want it to be on your fill. But other than that, let's get started. So before you ever start really coloring in your character, the first thing you want to always do is identify where your light source is. Uh, for this character in particular, I'm going to be having it at her, what, her 11 o'clock? That's where I put her light source at. So it's very easy for me to draw her shades. So when it comes to drawing her shades on this character, I draw almost everything kind of underneath. I'm going to start off by doing the blues and... Uh, her skin cut tones and then her hair. I'm not going to do a full color in because it'll just take too much time. I'm trying to make this video as short and straight to the point as possible. And so if you notice my color palette, you'll see I got three different layers. I got the very light, medium, and then the dark. So her base color for her shirt is the medium blue and I'm going to fill it in with the darker blue. And it's very important, like I said earlier, you want to harmonize your colors. And as I start coloring in this character, you will see just how they harmonize with each other by not doing too much and not too little. And one thing you want to always keep in mind when you're coloring your character is what's going to cause shadows on the clothing. For example, I just did her breasts and you can see that there is an under shadow for her breasts on the underneath part. And for other examples, for example, I'm drawing in her chin area and her clothing. As you can see, there's going to be more darker toned shadows underneath the clothing. You don't have to make it super extravagant or huge, but just very subtle and it really does show a lot of emphasis on your character when you just draw just a little bit of subtleness on your character. You don't want to do it too much unless you're like really, really heavy light, then it's different. But this is just like outdoor sunshine type of coloring. Now when it comes to doing skin tones, it's very subtle. You don't want to overdo it unless you're doing multiple skin tones. For me, I'm just doing two different skin tones. I'm doing her base and then her dark, which is her shade, and then her highlights. But I'm not going to do the highlights because highlights is extremely subtle. You don't add too much highlights at all. But as you're coloring it in, you just want to do certain parts like where the chin is going to be. Usually always underneath the chin, there's going to be some type of shadow or shade. And for example, with her hands, they're kind of tucked underneath her hair behind her ears. And so you really want to just uh, shadow in the parts that you think is going to be shadowed in. Usually always the edges of the hands and stuff when it's in this angle is going to be showing more light. So just pay attention to that. Um, you look at a reference if you don't know how to do that. A reference really does help out when you're shading. And again, when it comes to her clothing, again, you can tell what parts are blocking out the sun, like her arms and her hair, what parts are blocking out the sun. So you want to pay attention to that too as well, because you can easily pass that up if you're not looking at it. So you just really want to keep in mind what will be your sun blockers versus what's going to be shining. And for example, on her top, you can see that her arms are blocking out a large portion of the sun. And when it comes to her hair as well too, it's going to be almost the exact same thing. You want to figure out what parts of her hair are blocking other parts of her hair as you're creating it. Because if you just draw like a bunch of shader, shaders onto it, it's not going to look good. You, you want to really plan it out. You don't want to overdo it. Usually when it comes to the hair, the highlights overshine the shadows. But for this character, for example, she has a lot of hair that's just spiked out everywhere. And there's hair that's overlapping other pieces of hair. So you just want to just really just shade it out. and get a good feel for it because 
realistically this is all just your own creativity you can do a lot with this you can change the colors depending on what kind of light source if you're having like a neon purple light then you can change the tone if you want to do not be afraid to do things like that please experiment experimentation is the key to your own creative art style you want to keep that in mind as you're creating and as we come to a closer of this tutorial video i hope you guys enjoyed it with a key few pieces of advice like i said make sure you figure out what you want your color palette to be before you start off make sure you have a good one depending if you're actually going to use colors versus drawing in your entire shaders with the color black and then lowering the opacity then that'll be a whole different type of thing but if you're using actual colors make sure you actually just plan it out and have fun with it but it's your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics hope you guys liked the video rate comment subscribe please watch that creation video of this please hit that like button all that bullshit you already know who it be boy out